channel today is Friday September 18th and today I am filming a vlog so as you just saw I started out my morning with some fasted cardio we kind of slept in this morning and before I break my fast today I decided I would hop on my elliptical right there and get in 30 minutes on the elliptical I have this elliptical under the carport where there is no airflow and so I'm sweating and I feel like I actually started off my day on a great note. Since I started my day on such a productive note, hopefully I can keep that up for the rest of the day. Today we are probably just going to be here at the house all day, but we need to do some cleaning, some organizing because the house is a little bit of a train wreck right now. So you know what? Let's get today started. Cheers y'all! Time to light my little pumpkin candle and then that's gonna motivate me to start cleaning like all of these dishes that need to be done. Oh, I can't wait, so much fun. It is currently what time is it? 12.33. I am getting hungry, so I am going to make my first meal of the day. I have some leftover rib meat from the barbecue ribs I made in my last video. So I am going to use that. I'm going to scramble some eggs, and I am going to make myself some breakfast tacos. Sounds delicious, and I can't wait to eat it. So I'm going to fire up the skillet and get to cooking. Time to assemble my breakfast tacos. So I have two of these La Banderita low carb tortillas. I put a little bit of sour cream in the middle of each tortilla. And now I'm going to add my rib, egg, and cheese mixture right into the breakfast tacos. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this Cholula hot sauce. And there we go. We've got our breakfast tacos ready to be eaten. Yum. I'm so excited for these. All right, so here we are. After 17 hours and 53 minutes, we can go ahead and end my fast. Usually writing my to-do list is one of the first things I do each morning, but I have failed to do so. So I'm about to write down everything I need to do today, and we will start checking them off the list. I guess everyone is out there taking them a midday nap. Even the horse, he's like, oh, she just disturbed me. I wasn't taking a nap. I was definitely rolling in the dirt. All the cows are out there under the trees. 
that horse is just a nap and that is the cutest thing ever. Oh, I love having them in my backyard. Okay guys, we are about to make a little Cooper Poopers day because his bark box came in. And as you can tell, I haven't even opened it yet. And he is so excited. He knows what it is, that's hilarious. Ooh, it's an autumn themed box. I love these bark boxes. I think I get them more for myself than the dogs because they just have the cutest toys in them. The first toys in here is like a little combo toy. It's like an apple orchard basket and two little tennis balls with faces on them. Here, take it, take it, go somewhere dogs. Go, run away so we can look at the other cute toys. We have the deer hunter. He's a cute little guy with some squeakers in him. And we got the mutt bunch hard cider. That's so cute. And then of course, when you order bark boxes, you always get two bags of treats. And then you always get a chew as well. I just love these. I think the toys are so darn adorable. I think we now have more toys than we ever need. But they're just so cute and I love them and I shouldn't be allowed to have a credit card because I spend my money on these things. And there's flies everywhere out here. Oh my golly. Whoo, I am really exposing myself right now, but I have let my dining room table become an absolute disaster. It's just kind of our catch-all and everything ends up on top of here. And it is a hot mess and a half right now. So my next goal for right now is to get this for the most part cleared off and get it back to where we can actually eat there. Yay, I am so excited. It felt like it took forever, but the table is cleared off. I went through the piles of mail that I've been dreading going through, got most of it thrown away, and we now have a table area where we can sit and eat. Yay, finally got that done. All right, y'all, it is a couple of days later. Sorry, I kind of slacked at the vlogging from the last clip you saw, but it is an exciting day because guess what? Cody is 30! Yay! A big 3-0. So tonight we're cooking what he decided. We're doing burgers, we're doing mac and cheese, baked beans, we got him a cake from Walmart, and I think that's it. That's doing right. the basic all-American Keto meal. cake. I figured I'd pick up the vlog camera as we make his birthday dinner. I can't believe I'm dating an old man, y'all. He's 30! Oh my golly, dating? No, we're engaged. We're not dating, we're engaged. I guess Bo's already getting a jump start on dinner right here. Mmm. Seasoning up the burger patties with some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some Worcestershire sauce. Cody is making these man-sized burger patties. I am 30, woman. Look at them. They're about the size of my hand. Good golly. Well, I guess they aren't going to shrink up to nothing like some hamburgers do. That's right. That's the goal. We're going real homemade with the sides tonight with this here Cracker Barrel mac and cheese and Bush's grilling beans. <laughs> Honestly, it has been years since I've made a boxed macaroni and cheese. So I'm kind of excited about it because mac and cheese is my favorite meal. My dogs hate this thing, but it's an electric can opener I got off Amazon and it is my favorite thing. Cause I can just leave it there while I go and do other things in the kitchen. But Bo always has to come and bark at it, right? And then when you pull off the lid, it has a magnet on it, so it just pulls off the lid and you can just come over here and throw it in the trash. I love this thing, so darn easy. The cheese we're using on the burgers is some aged sharp white cheddar cheese and then Colby Jack, just doing a little half and half action. We got Cody over here throwing the big old meaty patties onto the grill. I have to say, I have been wanting me a cheeseburger, so I am pretty darn stoked for these burgers tonight. Woo, yeah. Birthday boy is cooking up the meats. Got the buns going in my favorite little toaster oven. 
I love this thing so much because I can adjust how much I want it to be toasted. We're going to do a real light toast because that's what Cody likes. And it's going to count it down for me. This thing is just so darn cool. I love this because I can set it and forget it because I will put stuff in here and then forget I'm making food. And I really like to burn stuff in here. You looking at me like this is for you, you cute little doglet. Oh, yeah. Okay, just because you sit there and lick your mouth and cry doesn't mean you're going to get one of these awesome burger patties Cody just cooked. Ooh, these look so good. Well, tonight is definitely a cheat meal kind of night, which I anticipated for. My only meal I've had today was pretty small. So I am going to enjoy this. Enjoy being here with the birthday boy. And enjoy a yummy, sinful meal. Look at Cody's beautiful, definitely not from Walmart cake. Homemade, baby. Happy birthday to you. Happy 30th birthday to you. Since we're in COVID, we can't blow out the candles. You gotta waft it with your birthday Woo! card. I just walked out of my office this morning and look over to see this little one using this pillow on the couch. These dogs know how to use a pillow, and he is just <laughs> passed out on this little love seat. Oh my gosh, is that not the cutest, most adorable thing in the entire world? Oh, so cute. I am so excited. I just got a small grill in the mail, and this is made for use on a boat. So I am really excited. Hopefully we're going to do some going out and catching fish and grilling on the boat and doing a whole little cookout out in the middle of the water. Wouldn't that be fun? So look forward to this. We'll do some videos soon cooking out on the water. Maybe you can come too since it's getting cooler outside. Oh my gosh, there's so many baby Moo Moo's in our yard this morning. <laughs> Look at them, they're so <laughs> cute. Oh, I'm making them all get up. Oh, this is my favorite thing to wake up to. Horses, little baby Moo Moo's, more Moo Moo's. Oh, this is the best. What I actually came outside to say was we have been having a tropical storm here for the past two days and we have gotten a ton of rain. So I figured out that this tree in our backyard is dead and a big branch fell off of it. So now I've got to figure out what to do with that branch. And we have gotten a ton of rain. So our yard is underwater again, which is never fun. This right here is kind of like a drainage ditch and it's like nine inches deep over here in some places even more than that. But our yard is underwater again. Thankfully not as bad as it has been before, but still an inconvenience. It is wet. And these guys don't like to come outside and potty when it's been raining. So that's been fun the last couple of days. Yep, mm -hmm. it has. Well, y'all, I know this vlog has been a little bit all over the place, but that kind of sums up my life lately. Just a little bit crazy right now. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah.